Hi, it's mystery author Ellie Alexander. I am so excited to welcome you into my tort test kitchen where food meets fiction. I am not, no I'm not, a professional pastry chef, but I play one in the pages of my bake shop mysteries. This week we are baking something nostalgic. Are you a product of the 80s or do you just love the 80s? Stick around and we'll get baking. Thanks so much for joining me for another episode of the Tort Test Kitchen. As I've talked about a few times, I am in the process of working on book 11, I don't even have that many fingers anymore, book 11 of the Bake Shop Mysteries, Nothing Bunt Trouble. This book is going to flash us back to my youth, the 1980s. Now, here is one of my favorite food memories from the 80s, and that is my mom and her love for all things Ding Dong. That's right, ding dongs. Did you have these in lunches? I used to get these for field trips. You know, when you would get a special lunch for a field trip, my mom would put in a ding dong. My mom was also my bluebird troop leader. Was anyone else a campfire girl? I was a campfire girl and my mom was our troop leader. And she would often suggest that if any of my fellow bluebirds wanted to bring snack, they might want to bring a ding dong. It's so ironic too, because my mom weighed like 90 pounds soaking wet. So I don't know how she ate so many ding dongs. I also know that ding dongs are packed with a lot of chemicals and preservatives now. So I want to make something fresh and modern that would be served at tort. So let's get to it. Let's make ding dongs.
And just like that, ta-da! Nostalgia in my modern kitchen. <laughs> Homemade ding-dongs that don't have any preservatives. They're fresh, they are just drenched in this decadent, rich, semi-sweet chocolate ganache. I can't wait to bite into one. And then of course, I made my own little twist with a strawberry white chocolate version of a ding-dong. Wasn't that kind of like, what were they called? Tiger's tails or something? Does anyone remember? I hope you've enjoyed this flashback to the 80s. I'm gonna be testing a lot more recipes as I keep working on finalizing what's gonna go into Nothing But Trouble, the 11th book in the Bake Shop Mysteries, which will be out in 2020. That's crazy to think about. In the meantime, be sure to comment below and let me know what your favorite 1980s dessert was. Are Ding Dongs on that list? I don't know, tell me. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share videos like this. Happy baking!